Hi everyone. In this video, I will briefly discuss and demo BeagleBone Black support from Embedded Coder. BeagleBone Black is a low-cost, community-supported development platform for students, developers, and hobbyists. The BeagleBone Black features TI's 1 GHz ARM Cortex A8 processor, provides stereo, audio, and digital video connectivity, but also supports USB, HDMI, and Ethernet. We will use model-based design to develop algorithms for the BeagleBone Black using Simulink and instead of using manual programming. We will generate code and run the executables on BeagleBone Black using Embedded Coder. To get started, launch the support package installer by typing support package installer in the MATLAB command window. Navigate through the guided instructions to download, install and configure Simulink for use with your hardware. Once the support package is installed, you will find a new library in the browser that you can use to add BeagleBone Black specific blocks such as GPIOs, LED, ALSA audio capture, playback, PWM, and many more in your model. And the detailed documentation is found in the help browser. I will show you an example of implementing an image inversion algorithm with a Simulink model and quickly running it on the Beagle. This example uses the V4L2 video capture and STL video display blocks. Now let's look at the prerequisites to run this model. We recommend complete getting started with the embedded coder support package for BeagleBone Black. To run this example, you will need the following hardware. BeagleBone Black hardware, a compatible USB camera and a mini USB cable. To start, I connected a compatible USB camera to the USB host port of your hardware. Note that some USB cameras draw too much current from the USB port of Beagle hardware and may not work properly. So use a powered USB hub in such cases. I now open the image inversion model and set the mode to external mode. In the Simulink model, notice as I click on the V4L2 video capture block and confirm the device name parameter. I will now execute the following commands to verify the device name parameter. And the typical output would look like this. It is the same as what we specified in the video capture block. That is slash dev slash video zero. Yes, it is the same. If you repeat this demo and do not see a video device file, it is likely that your USB camera is not recognized properly. So try rebooting your BeagleBone Black with the camera attached. Now we are ready to look at our demo model. Here, the video capture block captures video from my web camera on using V4L2 driver. And then the constant block will allow us to invert and modify the images using external mode. And the modified image will be displayed using HTL video display block. I'm now ready to run the demo. So here, I click on the run button on the toolbar and after a moment or two, it is running on the Beagle. Now it started running on the Beagle. Uh, while the model is running, I will double click on the constant block and change the constant value from 255 to 120 for example. This inverts the image. I will now try changing the constant value to one more value. Watch as I do this now and there observe the change. Now you saw all the inverted images. That's exciting, right? So that's the end of this quick introduction. I will now hit the stop button on the model and encourage you to try the embedded coder support package for BeagleBone Black yourself. To learn more, you can look at the hardware support package for BeagleBone Black from Embedded Coder page on MathWorks website. Thank you.